Hi guys, I'm gonna be presenting on. Hi Kenny. <laughs> I'm presenting on competing at IRSEC, specifically, like in my opinion, and what happened. So this is a little. Who am I? Um, if you don't know me, I'm Casey. I'm a first year computing security major. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I am an avid pickle enjoyer, along with orange juice enjoyer. I drink orange juice by the gallons. I swear. <laughs> So what is IRSEC? If you asked me this question two weeks ago, I would not have been able to tell you. Um, a lot of people described it to me as a blue teaming event, a great learning experience, and very chaotic. Um, I would describe it as kind of like a blue team crash course where you definitely crash a lot. <laughs> um, so prepping for success, um, for me, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna sleep very, very much. However, the same night, I planned a birthday party for my friend and went to bed at 1 a.m. So, <laughs> we started off very wrong. <laughs> we also spent the entire night making a cheat sheet in between all of my events. I would definitely recommend making a cheat sheet. They're very useful when you're looking for Linux commands that you don't know. <laughs> Starting off with the competition, communication is great. During the meeting where you meet with your team, I would recommend getting everybody's phone number, so that way you can call them if one of them shows up late. Um, we did not have this advantage, and we had to Discord call um, someone and their roommate to make sure that they were coming on time. Um, this was not ideal, specifically because he came five minutes before the competition started. Yay. <laughs> Um, uh, communication was also helpful though for Inject because if I was doing something that I wasn't supposed to be doing for Inject, people would tell me. And especially later, I'll talk about the communication between Ian and the black team. <laughs> another, <laughs> another important, <laughs> another important piece of starting the competition is the five-minute plan. This is the only part of the competition where I knew what I was doing to an extent. <laughs> Um, I was changing passwords, removing users, you know, how that works. Um, I would definitely recommend leaving some extra hosts open and changing their passwords and not removing all of them. That way you can access them if you somehow forget the password that you changed for another one. <laughs> um, I definitely did not do that. Um, being on Linux, this was great. I love Linux because Windows seemed too confusing. <laughs> as a first-time competitor. Um, however, this Linux was male. That was not so nice. I could tell you very, very much about male at the same time of knowing oh so little. Um, I learned about male through systemctl. That is my new favorite command because I used it so much during the competition. Systemctl status, post fix. That was great. Um, I also learned about IP tables. These are kind of like firewall rules. Um, I was following a Google guide of how to fix um, my mail servers, and it gave me IP table rules to write, and so I just wrote them. I didn't know what they did. <laughs> I had no idea what was happening. Um, I could not tell you what any of the letters I typed were. I just completely... No, no brain, head empty, no thoughts, just wrote them down. It was, it was quite great. Um, I figured that it might help defend the system, but I don't know what they did. Probably didn't, uh, based off how the end of the competition went. Um, another thing is, systemctl made me realize that sometimes things weren't working, and that meant I should uninstall and reinstall them. <laughs> 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 that also did not work, <laughs> nor did I think to start them <laughs> when I reinstalled them. <laughs> so <laughs> that was also a great part of the competition. Thank you, Ashley, for telling me to start them, actually, because they would not have been started <laughs> if otherwise. OK. Next, I was also in charge of the Ubuntu box. Like the Waza, I didn't know what Waza meant, and everyone was like, "Oh, the Ubuntu box is like the Waza server," and I was like, "What is what is Waza?" Um, it's apparently an open source threat detection platform. Now that I know this, after googling it for this presentation, I probably should have used it. 
I opened it. <laughs> I SSH into the box and opened a Wireshark and then ran it. Um, and as I was talking to Ian, he saw it and I was like, oh, I should report this. He goes, I already did that. Oh, I should report this. I already did that. So the only thing I really knew how to do on the Ubuntu server was already being done. So I decided to leave it alone and I don't think I touched it the rest of the competition. <laughs> Injects an incident report. This was great. Injects. Personally, my favorite inject was the one where we got to talk to everyone because I love talking to people. Moreover, I would try to start real conversations with people, and then they were like, "Do you want the Do you want the passphrase?" And I was like, "Okay, hold on. I'm having a conversation here. <laughs> I want the conversation first. How are you doing?" So that was great. The writing part of the index was great because I had to figure out what I did without knowing what I did. So it was kind of like reverse engineering my thought process when I didn't really have any thoughts. So leaving all of the tabs open that I Google searched during the competition was very helpful because I could see what I typed and have no idea what I did. <laughs> Another thing was screenshots. For the entire first half of the competition, I wasn't saving screenshots. <laughs> I would screenshot a picture and then was like, okay, cool, and continued to do things. So I lost a good like 10 screenshots because I just wasn't saving them at the beginning. A great and brave mistake. <laughs> um, the topology. I found out what a topology was um, while making a topology. As you can see here, these are shapes of what topology could be. I can barely spell topology, let alone tell you what half of these shapes are. So I was, I was in it for the long run and making a topology in 10 minutes using Lucidchart. But it was, it was oh so much fun. <laughs> Some problems I had. <laughs> um, with, I changed passwords within the first like 30 minutes of the competition. And then I noticed systems were down. I was like, what's happening? Why aren't my mail servers working? I didn't update my passwords. Um, so I made a note, I think I wrote it on my hand at some point to update passwords because that was a struggle I had because I kept forgetting to go to the score sheet and do that. So I'm very sorry to my team who actually has to listen to, <laughs> to what, what I'm talking about. Um, but on here you can see many things. A big issue I had was I'm bad at typing, so a lot of the times I just mistype things. Um, another thing was someone... Um, uninstalled my IMAP slash like Dovecot service. So I was like, oh, this is where I reinstalled and uninstalled it. And Ashley came over and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm trying to restart it, but it says it's dead. And she was like, just start it. Please just start it. <laughs> and I was like, start it, but I installed it. <laughs> um, so that, that was an adventure. As you can see here, I have Dovecot and it says command not found um because you have to system ctl it i know that now favorite command <laughs> um beware the red slash black team this was actually the most confusing part of the competition because i did not know when people were black teaming or red teaming me based off ashley would come over and help and then take pictures of my screen <laughs> <laughs> So I was very, I was very confused. <laughs> um, these were, these were some of the people that I talked to throughout the day, who I had no idea what they were doing and if they were going to help me or ruin my day. So we could talk with Anthony first. Anthony would come over many of times to check out if his oh so evil tool was working, <laughs> and many times um, it wasn't even on the system I was on. So I would ask permission to go onto that system to check for him. <laughs> um, and many times it also wasn't there. So he would walk away very sadly. <laughs> um, however, when he was being a red teamer, he wore these oh so snazzy sunglasses. And I was like, oh, that's evil Anthony right there. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Um, I've already mentioned Ashley before, but she would come over expecting to be devious at times and then see the distressed look on my face and offer to help me because I looked so sad. <laughs> um, Ishan was also very helpful towards me at least, um, but this is where Ian comes in to 
Ian said some not nice words to Ishan when he walked away. Um, and then later in the competition, Ishan walked past me, said, Casey, I'm sorry. And then all of our screens went red on the service panel, not even five minutes later. Um, so that was a honestly a great time for me. And they stayed red for the rest of the competition, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Finally, my takeaways. If I'm gonna be honest, I, I had no idea what Ritzek was. Um, and then I got to the competition and I was like, uh, what? <laughs> um, I'm happy I decided to go and I learned a lot in those 12 hours. IP tables, I have now been acquainted with them. I still don't know them. Uh, System CTL is, my, is probably my best friend because it's like the only Linux command I can recite most of the man things for from how many times I looked at it. <laughs> Um, mail, I'm still very upset that it was mail. <laughs> I, I still, I actually didn't know that mail would be a service in uh, the Linux like thing. I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> um, so when I was told, oh, this means mail, I, I was like, there's mail on Linux? You can send emails? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was great. Um, it was a very strange assignment. Um, and finally, I had a lot of fun. Honestly, IISEC was probably one of the best Saturdays I've spent at RIT, um, mainly because, I don't know, I got to hang out with a bunch of people that I really enjoy hanging out with. And I honestly got to talk to so many upperclassmen that I like don't get to see or get to talk to in the club room because everyone's doing homework all the time. <laughs> So overall, great experience. If you white team and you haven't blue teamed yet, please do because you will love it and hate it all at the same time. Yes, Alex. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> you would love it and hate it at the same time. Um, so thank you. And thank you for participating in IRSIC because it was really fun for me. <laughs> So I'd like to make a comment <laughs> about the, uh, the black team and blue team. And not really. So, fun fact. Uh, I didn't have a red team shirt. Uh, I noticed. Red people, yeah, red team shirt. You have to like spend like 10 bucks extra to get a red team shirt. I was lazy, so I didn't get one. So I only had a black team shirt, so I couldn't put too much more. So yeah. Uh, that'll be it for me. Yes. <laughs> so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I I like the one where I had to talk to people. I already talked to that one. I liked when we had to find Ross. <laughs> that one was fun. Um, honestly, most of the time I didn't have to deal with the injects unless they were like specific to like the Linux servers. So and that's a question for like people who handled them. Like Curie on my team handled them. Um, but yeah, so I I I enjoyed them. I liked the theme of the competition. That was good. Any more questions? Yes, Anthony? I don't know. Um, so Is it your first presentation? Oh, <laughs> so, how, how do you think that we did this? My team? Yeah. I think we did great. And the, for the fact that I knew nothing, I think we did great. So, so we didn't really place and I think we did good. I, I think there's some rewards like, that we get for the, for the, for the whole experience, you know? A reward for the experience? Uh, it's just a little tree. Oh, for real, for real? For real, for real? For real, for real? Yeah, we go. All good. All good. Thank <laughs> you.